I'll show with you uh, Jacob's Engineering Stock. Click uh, on the search bar to press enter. You can see the name of the firm, Jacob's Engineering Group Inc. And um, the stock is J E C C. And um, if you want to buy the stock right now, you have to pay 79.67 US dollars for one stock. And um, you can see that the market cap is in billions. That means that this is a big size firm. And um, the dividend yield is 0.85%. Um, I just want to point out that even if the dividend is small, even if it's less than one, that's brilliant because that means the company is financially very strong. Because companies who pay dividend, that means they, after paying their loans, liabilities, creditors, they still have extra money left. That extra money they pay to shareholders as dividends, and uh, this suggests that um, even if the dividend yield is less, but still they're paying dividends. That means this is extra money. So um, they are financially very strong. That's brilliant. Now let's look at when was this founded. If I just go to Wikipedia, you can just see this box there, and you can see founded 1947. Go back, and I want to see what the employees think about this firm. Just copy that exactly from Google. Okay, and paste that here, and I'll say Indeed reviews, and I want to know what the employees think about this firm. Now there are 4,000 reviews and 3.9 stars and uh, nearly 4 stars which is brilliant. Read through the pros and cons about it and uh, read through, uh, see the salaries, the photos and the jobs and the questions and everything and just know what the employees think about this form and check the uh, reviews in Glassdoor as well, what people have to say there and if I just click there I can see we have 2800 reviews and it's 3.5 stars it's above average that's good and read through the pros and cons what people like about this what they don't like what they want to improve or whatever we, uh, check out the jobs they have listed the salaries they are paying the interviews the benefits they are giving the photos and everything now let's go to just here patents and have a look if this firm has any patents or not I'll just paste it here and click enter and um, I can see that um, they have patents that's brilliant I'm not interested in inventors because these are people who invented but they don't have full rights I'm just looking for applicant or assignee because they have full rights now see in 2011 they have a patent 2016 they have a patent 1978 2005 um, 2005 that's a different form I think I'll just copy that and see if that's the one uh, that's a different form or it's similar so that's GM that's a different one and that's Jacobs that's different so um, you know I would just say that that's a different form altogether so that's not the patent that's 2005 that's not the patent we're looking for we look for Jacobs engineering group so um, I'm interested in knowing if they have recently they do have recent patents in 2016 because that means they're still innovating because please do check if they have recent patents because that means they're still innovating the more patents a firm has the more stronger it is and uh, it's harder to beat that firm so this is it's still trying to innovate that's brilliant now let's see in Yahoo Finance I want to see the key executives and their salaries and um, let's see so um, I'll just paste it here and um, um, now don't be confused by which one to click because they have different symbols what I do is I normally search in Google and um, I see NASDAQ symbol which is JEC so that's the one I have to click okay in case you're confused go to profile and then go to the you can see the sector industry and full-time employees and the best part is that they have shown all the key executives and all their salaries have been shown they haven't hidden anything so it builds trust so we can see all the salaries that's brilliant now let's go and see in macro trend let's see the ratios click click price ratio and price book ratio and paste in the symbol JEC Jacobs and um, I just want to tell you if the price book ratio is less than one that means the stock is very cheap it's undervalued it's a discount you must buy it if it's more than one that means stock is expensive the higher the number goes the more expensive it gets right now it's 1.96 which means the stock is 1.96 times more expensive to buy if I see in 2007 December it's 5.69 which means the stock is 5.6 times more expensive if somebody bought the stock in 2007 December they paid $93 to buy something that was only $16 worth it was a lot more expensive but um, if I see 2011 it's 1.21 times expensive so somebody bought in 2011 September they paid $31 to buy something that was $26 worth they bought it expensive but it was 
1.2 times more expensive right now it's 1.9 times more expensive nearly twice more expensive so you need to decide if you want to buy right now or you want to wait what what's your decision let's go to other ratio and i want to go to current ratio and in current ratio if the stock is um if the ratio is less than one that means stock is very risky because liabilities are more than assets and that's not a good news if the, if the ratio is 1.5 or more than that that means stock is safe and it has a good margin of safety now let's have a look right now it's uh, 1.5 that means stock is safe because it is 1.5 it has a good margin of safety as it's a lot more than liabilities and um, so that's brilliant let's look at the previous one yes it's a safe stock but if I just see in 2018 September it's less than 1.5 but a little bit less than 1.5 so, so that's fine for me so um but then it's like up and then down and up so mainly since data we have 2005 up to now since recent 14 years it's always been 1.5 or more than that except once or twice when it's not very less than 1.5 it's a little bit less than 1.5 so that's fine for me so overall if i have to see it's a safe stock because it's uh, i caught the ratio of 1.5 or more than that let's go to debt equity ratio this ratio will tell me if the company is mainly operating on debt or equity. I'm looking for 0.5 or less than that. Right now, it's 0.51. It's nearly 0.5, so it's okay. It's a safe stock. And if I just see the previous consistency, yes. So since data, I have 2005 up to now. Since recent 14 years, it's always been 0.5 or less than that. So it's a very safe stock in terms of debt. So that's brilliant. Let's go to return equity. I'm looking for 8% or more than that for it to be ideal. Right now it's 5%. It's less than 8%. So it's not my ideal equity, return on equity. Even though it's a positive return of 5%, but still it's not 8%, which is my ideal return. Let's look at the previous one. So has it ever been 8% or more than that? Yes, it has. Since 2005 up till, I would say, up till up till 2014 it's 8% or more than that that's my ideal return but then after that it has the return has lowered so it's not the ideal return I'm getting right now consistently since few years so this is something to think about